What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another tutorial and this is on how to emulate Android on your PC. Now this does work with Mac as well so if you have a Macintosh and you are watching this video you can go ahead and follow it, it will be similar steps and it should be pretty easy to install as well. So Bluestacks, this is very very handy if you have an Android device or if you've used an Android device and you like the applications or games on there and you thought why the heck not let's use some Android games and some Android applications on your PC. PC on a big screen well you can do that for free bluestacks is amazing there is other software out there such as andy and some other programs like that as well bluestacks seems to be really simple and i prefer it over the other ones such as andy so without further ado let's get started so in the description below i've left the download link so go ahead and click on that click on the website and click on download for pc it should just automatically pop up so choose your desired location i've chosen desktop and you should have a installation wizard like so double click on it and it should extract some files here once the extraction is complete you should see a wizard like so so go ahead and click continue now on this section here it will choose program data as the default location you can go ahead and choose that if you wish by clicking browse and choosing your desired location but I like leaving mine as C drive program data as it's just nice and tidy and everything goes in there so it recommends that you leave these two checked I've always done this so go ahead and leave them unchecked if you wish it says that it runs best with the following enabled so go ahead and install and and this shouldn't take no longer than five minutes I've installed this on a laptop and it didn't take too long either so as you can see here it's created two desktop shortcut icons start blue stack and blue stack for apps so I usually delete the apps one as I don't tend to use it I normally just use this one as it just opens it and you have all your applications inside like an Android device so if you want to leave that one there you can but I'm gonna go ahead and delete it there we have it guys we have successfully installed blue stacks now you can see the top apps um, pretty much every app on the Play Store um, we have photo apps games and all that jazz so if you come up here we have the search so if you click on that and you just type in a game you'd like or an application on the play store that you would like to choose I'm just gonna choose a crossy road for this example so we're gonna go ahead and click on it and it will just do a one-time setup so when you first do this you're gonna have to go through a few steps once you've done them steps you don't have to do this uh, again on your system so if you do own a Android device you will know that it requires a Gmail account so if you don't already have one or if you do already have one then choose an existing account if you don't already have one then choose a new account it's as simple as that so I'm just going to use an existing account and check these both and click next click continue and it's also going to ask for my password here so as you can see we're taken to the Play Store here and like any other Android device it looks exactly the same so we're going to go ahead and click install and accept the agreement and it will just download if you drag up here and drag down it will tell you how long it's got left the date and the time which is really cool if you also drag down on this thing you can go into the settings you can see the language so you can change the language input some keyboard settings the date the time import windows files and do some other handy stuff in here as well if we go ahead and go into advanced settings you can unlink or link a google account from here change the data time language location and access all of your apps as well so that's pretty cool just like on an android device we have a keyboard icon down here if you go ahead and click on it you can map uh, different keys so on your keyboard if you want to choose p you can bind that key to you know swipe left tilt or zoom so that's pretty handy I'm not going to go into detail on that because I don't really use it um, and if you also press this button down here it will go to full screen so that's quite handy or the shortcut as well is f11 so we're going to go ahead and go back to our play store and hit open and it just tells you here swipe left swipe right tap and swipe down are the uh, instructions so we do have sound I'm just going to turn this down as it's rather loud as you can see blue stacks is in the mix so you can just turn it down like normal as you can see I am playing crossy road on my PC I mean it's a little bit laggy but I am recording with my screen and doing other things in the background so I mean if you have a rather decent system it should just run perfectly fine so I'm just clicking here as you would by tapping on a device and it's running really really smoothly and it pretty much just emulates any Android application of your choice so I really like the fact that you can go on the Play Store and download any app of your choice and and play it pretty much so so the lag has stopped a little bit here and I think that's just because it was a first time run um, I've been playing this for around two minutes now and it seems to be running just fine so again this works for any application not just games and stuff like that so I'm going to show you a different application this time not a game but instead a video and a TV show application it's called Showbox it's also uh, advertising on the front here so we're going to go ahead and click on this 
This app basically allows you to watch free movies and TV shows and stuff like that. I'm not actually going to show any footage as that will get me copyright. But I will show you that any application does work and uh, Showbox is a very neat app. So if you want to go ahead and install that, you can. It's very quick. It's very smooth. So we're going to go ahead and open this now. And as you can see, we have all the movies. So we're just scrolling down just like any tablet or Android phone device. I'll just click on shows, for example, and click on, I don't know, let's see, friends. Click on episode one. You get an ad here because it is a free app. We can download it, choose the different server, I'll click watch now. So this should stream automatically and I'll probably show like two seconds of it. There you go. So we are using the application itself. This is a really old episode. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. You can use any Android application, music, film, video, games, Instagram, Twitter, social media, all of that good stuff. It's very handy to have. Obviously, there's no charge required and you can do different things on there as well. So I hope I've helped you today. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.